should do their bit. I don't quite know what I should be doing at the moment. Maybe I should just shut up. But at the moment, I'm uh, fundraising. I fundraise in a number of different areas. Uh, some of them actually quite, uh, what's the word? Some of them quite establishment, uh, establishment level. Uh, I fundraise to help existing crisis centres and rehabilitation units, community groups, families and individual addicts. And I do this not because necessarily of, of a feeling of guilt. Uh, it's not because I want to put something back. It's because I'm a father of teenagers. My wife's a teacher. We are involved with children all the time. I suppose rock music has made its uh, money from young people. But it's just this sense that it could be contained if it wasn't allowed to get out. Well, you're the great hope. You kick, you kick the habit, which not many people do. A lot of people do kick the habit. It, it's, uh, it's staying off that's difficult. Uh, it's easy to, to cold turkey or to detoxify. There's a lot of different methods to get yourself straight. It's, you need support. You need something to occupy you. You need hope. You need real support. You, know. you have... Uh, are you making a, a despairing effort now to become respectable towards, by getting into publishing? I've always After been... After all the guitar I've always, breaking, I've always been respectable. You're trying to do something decent now. Uh, Why the publishing? Well, I, I started publishing in 76 with my own small company. And uh, I just love it. I think it's great. Does it's it not... put you more in touch with people than you ever did when you were in rock? Yes, it does. To repeat myself, I now feel that rock was a bit of a fortress it, it, in which revolution could happen, like the punk thing was a revolution, wasn't it? But. Uh, What's interesting about publishing is, is that it has to have open doors to, to society and culture and things that are happening out in the world. And it has to be open. <clears throat> I have to read a lot. I have to watch your show. <laughs> I never do. I never do. I, I have it's to, over by the time I get home, so I don't have to look at it. I have to read the papers. I have to know what's happening in the world. And so rather than being an idealist in a cardboard box of rock and roll, I can now actually try to... I think the great thing for me is working with other people to actually working with other creative people and feeling that maybe I might be a cog in a big machine. Uh, but far from being respectable, sometimes I feel like I'm involved in, in, in uh, quite nasty hype. You know? <laughs> anyway, it's a pleasure to see you. Thank you for coming to join Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Pete. Please tell me.